So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Uh-oh. Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. Okay. H-U-121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. No, he's not talking to you. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's. And it's jammed. Uh-oh. Uh. Decaf's dead. Ah, uh, there's his helmet. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! Oh, boy. We are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Why is he not holding her? I'll let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. Eddie! We've got a situation here. Oh boy. Inside the chopper. Now. Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. Right, come on, Oscar. Come on, we can do this, Oscar. I can hear stuff coming. Oh, it's it's getting near. Well, what does that mean? Come on. Try it now. Come on. That battery's not responding. Try another one. Oh. Did, did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when it happens. Pick up the pace. I don't like it either, man. Come on, Oscar. You can, you can do quicker than that. Just throw it away. Why you put it in the same exact place? Come on, Oscar. Try it now. If you got another battery, try it. Oh, crap. I guess this is the last one, huh? Oh. Look, we gotta get out of here! Now! I know! I'm working on it! Come on, Oscar. You can do this. Try it now! It's working. Ooh, we got power! Ah, uh, hey, here comes T-Rex. Here we go! Oh, crap. Okay, okay, I did it. Oh. oh bye bye T Rex. Yeah. Your 
were a good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. Uh, don't... What did you say? Uh-oh. Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... Uh, gets carried away. The last person who made ill-advised comments on Oscar's tattoos now eats his lunch through a straw sticking out of his neck. <laughs> Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Hey, I never joke about my job. Besides, Oscar's the funny one. Hmm. Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Riot. Then we'll see hey, how proud you listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Aww. Hey. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Ugh. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Uh, I'm here to ask. Just your friendly neighborhood rescue team at your service, man. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is. But look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But. Since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Um... Yeah, I'm not sure having you help is such a good idea. Uh, she needs you to carry boxes and stuff, not bring fugitives to justice. Let me help. All right, all right. Are you always such a pain in the ass? Not always. Sometimes I'm a total bitch. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Watch what happens if we don't find any food soon. I could probably get you some dino burgers. Seriously, I'm so turning the tables on the next dinosaur that tries to eat me. Are you serious? What? 
I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. Wow. Bum one of those. Jesus. If you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. Okay, well, let's start stuff. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? No one. Me neither. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Well, there's nothing else to do here, huh? Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her Indian related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. Okay. Uh, what about you guys? Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You want to help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animal's welfare, I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, like I mentioned before, fever, swelling at the wound. Who's the prisoner? Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Huh. You have a point. Aha! But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork in the file boxes you guys are loading. Gotta get back, because, uh, you never know, the prisoner could have a relapse or something. Highly unlikely. What will convince? Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. The government, of course... Alright, let's go dig into those files. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. They gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy.
I mean, I knew Hammond was no real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this isn't the purpose. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. <laughs> Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Dino preserve. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Pens. Sorkin, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Cool. Harry! I mean Henry! Jerry! Henry! Jerry! Oh no, no! Not the awesome dino! Oh crap, run! Oh crap, keep running! Oh, there's more of them here. Shit.